excellencies, distinguished participants, yoga masters, brothers and sisters, all of those watching on web TV and joining us today, namaste. A very warm welcome to everyone. Happy International Day of Yoga 2023. This is the time that we've all been waiting for. The time has come for me to share how much we're deeply honored. We are so privileged to have with us today none other than the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji. A distinguished world leader and an ardent yoga practitioner. I'd like to remind everyone that it is Prime Minister Modi ji himself back in December 2014 who introduced the idea of establishing World Yoga Day to the UN General Assembly. A record number of 175 member states recognized yoga's universal appeal and adopted the landmark resolution proclaiming June 21 as International Yoga Day, the day of the summer solstice here in the North. So every 21 of June is World Yoga Day. This day provides people everywhere across the globe, all of us, and everyone watching, an opportunity to reflect upon the countless benefits of practicing yoga. Indeed, an invaluable gift in the world from India's ancient tradition. We thank the Honorable Prime Minister of India for this notable initiative, which is now celebrated worldwide with enthusiasm and vigor. I will now begin the official part of today's event by requesting Ambassador Ruchira Kamboj, India's permanent representative to the United Nations, to the stage to deliver her opening remarks. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Mr. President of the General Assembly, Madam Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Mayor, distinguished ambassadors, distinguished guests, and all my dear friends and colleagues from this wonderful audience. Today's celebration is indeed very, very special. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lead us in doing yoga here at the United Nations lawns. To put matters in perspective, it was under his leadership and under his guidance that 21st June was declared as International Yoga Day. And it is only fitting, therefore, that the inspiration behind the idea is with us today in this scenic, multicultural setting of the United Nations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is truly beautiful to see so many around the world gather in solidarity for yoga. It is not living with the burden of weight or the lightness of oblivion. It is a choice made with balance an idiosyncratic beauty, timeless throughout the progress of humanity, yoga has endured. It is truth beyond articulation, wisdom beyond time. I hope all of you will cherish 21st June this year and hold it close to your hearts, today and forever. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Cambodge, for your remarks. It's my turn now to invite the Honorable President of the UN General Assembly, Mr. Chaba Karoshi, for the stage. Honorable Prime Minister, Madam Deputy Secretary General, 
Mr. Mayor, Madam Ambassador, dear friends, Namaste. Yoga is a way of uniting mind and body, and also the environment and us. The most memorable university lectures I attended as a student many years ago were on cultural traditions of ancient Eastern civilizations. They helped me understand that we are part of nature, despite regarding ourselves as aristocratically detached from other creatures. I also learned that the energies in the universe and inside us abide by the same law, a desire to achieve balance. Yoga changes our physical performance. But more importantly, it can spark in us different mental and intellectual performance with a control that it teaches over ourselves we learn how to make change and impact since that university lecture i've been an admirer of yoga i'm very proud of my daughter who has already reached a high level of practice and is continuing her journey Thanks to her, I understand better yoga's ethical guide, guide. The guide which includes the principle of non-stealing, non-greed, non-hoarding, and non-violence. In other words, yoga's ethical guide to living is a guide to sustainability. Not overusing resources that belong to all of us. Not prioritizing short-term gains over planetary boundaries. And working for transformation. Our world needs balance, self-control, and creativity, just as it needs recognition of moral responsibilities and cherishing peace and justice. There are many ways to approach these aims. Yoga is one of the means for which I have a special respect. I'm happy to be here with all of you today. But let me apologize in advance. I am not a yoga practitioner, and the positions which you will show might look very different from what I end up doing. Still, I'm here with an open heart and open mind. Thank you very much. Thank you, President Karoshi, for highlighting the transformative power of yoga and in such a very personal way. At this time, I would now ask that Mayor Eric Adams, the mayor of the city of New York, Please take the stage. <clears throat> to Prime Minister Modi, to President of the General Assembly, to Deputy Secretary General, to Your Excellencies, to the Ambassador, to all of you, do not miss the significance of this moment. New York City is the largest and most important city in America. As I stand before you as the mayor of that city, I share with you in a clear and a universal tone that we are no longer focused solely on the physical body but the anatomy of our spirit. For far too long, we have separated what our needs are emotionally, spiritually, and physically. We are going to go to the root causes of that which troubles many of us, from how we interact, to the food we eat, to allowing our children to have breathing exercises in the morning as they start their school day, to challenge the mental health issues that's impacting us. 
But there's a larger challenge for all of us. What we do on the mat in practicing yoga must become what we do on the streets and in our countries. We cannot become universally connected through the yellow mats we lay on, but disconnected as we move through our communities. Use the spirit and emotions of yoga to challenge and fight against war, to fight against gender oppression, to fight against violence, to fight against the lack of clean water, to fight against the food insecurity, to fight against the destruction of our planet. Our connectivity is not only how we're connected to our families and our parents, we have two mothers. One gave birth to us and one sustains us. Yoga keeps us connected to both mothers and connected to each other. This International Yoga Day is an international call for us to stand up for humankind across the globe and all living beings. I'm proud to be here and I'm proud to symbolically represent this city as stated, the International Yoga Day is an international call that we will be a leader here in New York City as you are a leader in your own environments. Thank you for allowing me to rejoice with you today. Thank you, Mayor Adams, for spotlighting how yoga is integral to the anatomy of one's spirit. We appreciate that perspective and input. I'd like now to go to the video message of the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, who is not available to be with us in person, but is here in spirit. Please let us go to the videotape. Happy International Day of Yoga. I want to recognize Prime Minister Modi for all he has done to promote understanding of yoga and its many benefits. Yoga unites. It unites body and mind, humanity and nature, and millions of people across the globe for whom it is a source of strength, harmony, and peace. In a dangerous and divided world, the benefits of this ancient practice are particularly precious. Yoga offers a haven of calm. It can reduce anxiety and promote mental well-being. It helps us to develop discipline and patience. It connects us to our planet, which so badly needs our protection. And it reveals our common humanity, helping us to understand that despite our differences, we are one. On this International Day of Yoga, let us embrace the spirit of unity and resolve to build a better, more harmonious world for people, planet, and ourselves. Friends, it is one of the deepest honors and privileges of my life to extend a heartfelt welcome, a, heart we a heartfelt welcome and an invitation to no one else but the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Modi ji. I ask that on this auspicious occasion that he join us and that he address us with his remarks. Let us give him a very, very warm welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Your Excellency, Chaba Koroshi, President of UN General Assembly, Her Excellency Amina Mohammad, Deputy Secretary General of the Union, His Excellency Eric Adams, Mayor of New York, and my dear friends from all over the world, Namaskar. Friends, on this fine morning, we are gathered here at the United Nations, at the meeting point of entire humanity. In this wonderful city of New York, 
I know many of you have come here from far away. Most of you have woken up before sunrise and made the effort to come here. I am delighted to see you all and I thank you all for coming. Friends, I am told that almost every nationality is represented here today. And what an amazing cause to bring us all together yoga. Yoga means to unite. So your coming together is an expression of another form of yoga. I remember about nine years ago, right here at the UN, I had the honor to propose celebrating the International Day of Yoga on 21st June. It was wonderful to see the entire world come together to support the idea back then. I've just paid respect to the brave UN peacekeepers. In 2015, I had called for a new memorial to be built at the UN in their memory. And last week, the whole world joined hands with India to make this reality soon. As the largest troop contributing nation, we are grateful to all nations for their expression of support to this noble cause. Last year, the entire world came together to support India's proposal to celebrate 20, 2023 at the International Year of Millets. Millets are a superfood. They promote holistic health and are good for environment too. And today, it is wonderful to see the entire world come together again for yoga. Friends, yoga comes from India and it is a very old tradition. But like all ancient Indian tradition, it is also living and dynamic. Yoga is free from copyright, free from patents, and free from royalty payments. Yoga is adaptable to your age, gender, and fitness level. Yoga is portable. You can do it at home or at work or in transit. Yoga is flexible. You can practice it alone or in a group, learn from a teacher or be self-taught. Yoga is unifying. It is for everyone, for all ethnicities, for all faiths, and for all cultures. Yoga is truly universal. Friends, when we do yoga, we feel physically fit, mentally calm, and emotionally content. 
but it is not just about doing exercise on a mat. Yoga is a way of life, a holistic approach to health and well-being, a way to mindfulness in thoughts and actions, a way to live in harmony with self, with others, and with nature. I am delighted that many of you are working on scientifically validating different aspects of yoga. Indeed, this is the way. Friends, I know you are all keen to get started. Well, so am I. I want to thank the United Nations for hosting us here today. I am grateful to the mayor and the city of New York for all their help and support in making this event success. And most of all, want to thank you all once again for being here today. Let us use the power of yoga not only to be healthy, happy, but also to be kind to ourselves and to each other. Let us use the power of yoga to build bridges of friendship, a peaceful world, and a cleaner, greener, and sustainable future. Let us join hands together to realize the goal of one earth, one family, one future. I conclude with a wish, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya. May everyone be happy, may everyone be healthy. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister Modi ji, for conveying such an inspirational message to us, for elaborating more about our theme, Vasudeva Kutumbakam, and stressing how yoga is really a way of life. At this time, I request that our esteemed dignitaries please leave the stage and join us below for the yoga lesson because we would like to start that soon. You may. Friends, I'm now going to call upon yoga instructor Miss Annalise Richmond so that she go can ahead, join ahead. on the stage. Quickly. We're going to prepare the stage so that we can get it ready for our yoga lesson. I've mentioned before that we'll have six energetic youngsters leading us along with Miss Annalise Richmond in this lesson. And we have more in the first row here on the North Lawn joining us so that people behind can also follow that way too. I'm requesting that everyone stay on your yoga mat in your spot and to follow our yoga instructor and our yoga practitioners to the best of our ability. It's such a beautiful morning to have this opportunity to engage in yoga. The sun is not so strong. And we have a nice breeze coming through, which makes for a very pleasant morning for us to all share in this collective group. I'm delighted now to hand over the floor to our accomplished yoga instructor, Miss Annalise Richmond, who will now start our yoga session. Thank you, Denise. 
A very warm welcome to our Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji and dignitaries. It is an honor to have you with us in our midst. We are delighted. Namaste. Let us all enter into the world of yoga together. Can you hear me in the back? Yes. Good. Let's bring our hands together in front of the heart in prayer pose. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And we'll do an invocation together. We'll be chanting Om three times together. Let's close the eyes. Let's take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And let us chant Om. Deep breath in. Oh. Let's relax our hands in our lap. And when you feel ready, you can gently open your eyes. We'll start our yoga sadhana, our yoga practice, with some loosening exercises to increase the circulation in the body. So let's stand up. We'll start in samastiti alert posture. So the feet two to three inches apart from each other in parallel. Stand with the spine tall and let's bring our hands onto our waist. We'll do neck exercises first. Be careful in case of any neck injuries or cervical spondylitis here. Let's inhale, stretch the spine. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest as much as you can all the way to the chest. Inhale, raise the head back up. Exhale, let the chin and head fall back, face to the sky. Inhale, head to the center. Exhale, chin to the chest. Relax. Inhale, bring the head back to the center. Exhale, let the head go back, stretching the front of the neck. And one more time, inhale to the center. Exhale, chin to the chest. Stretch the back of the neck. Inhale, the head to the center. You can smile. And exhale, let the head go back gently. Open the throat and chest. Inhale, back to the center. Relax. Good. Keeping the hands on the waist, we'll twist the neck from right to left. Be careful not to jerk the neck. Let's inhale, stand tall. 
Exhale, turn the chin over the right shoulder. Look all the way over to the right. Feel the stretch in the left side of the neck. Inhale, back to the center. Smile. Exhale, the chin over the left shoulder. Feel the stretch in the right side of the neck. Good. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, chin over the right shoulder. Look as far as you can with the eyes. Inhale, back to the center, breathe in. Exhale, chin over the left shoulder, look to the left. Good. Inhale, come back to the center, and exhale, relax. Good. Now we'll do trunk twisting to warm up the body and spine. Be careful of any spinal injuries in this warm up. So let's bring the feet one foot apart Feet in parallel in Samastiti, alert posture. Back is tall. Inhale, take the arms out in front of you. Hands parallel to each other. Exhale, keep the hips where they are. Turn just the upper body to the right. Left palm towards the right shoulder. Look to the right. Good. Inhale, come back to the center. Palms facing each other. Exhale, twist just the upper body to the left. Palm facing the left shoulder. Good, inhale, come back. Looking forward, palms facing each other. Exhale, twist just the upper body to the right. Look to the right, left palm to the right shoulder. Good, inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, twist just the upper body to the left. Right palm towards the left shoulder. Good, inhale, come back to the center. You can smile. Exhale, relax. Good. Now let's start our yoga asanas or yoga postures. We'll start with Tadasana, the palm tree posture. If you have any arthritis in the lower extremities, don't raise up onto your ankles in this posture. So for Tadasana, we'll start in Samastiti, feet two to three inches apart from each other. And inhale, raise the arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, clasp the fingers and push the palms away from you. Good. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale here, lengthen the spine. Inhale, come up onto the toes and breathe here. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, grow taller. And breathe out, slowly lower down the feet. Unclasp the hands slowly with awareness on the body. Lower the arms down slowly. Good. And relax. And now again, let's bring the feet two to three inches apart. Samastiti, alert posture. We'll take a back bend. If you have any vertigo or back injuries, be careful with this pose. So Ardha Chakrasana, the half wheel posture. Let's take the hands to the waist. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, slide the fingers back to support the back. Elbows in parallel behind the back. Inhale, let the head go back, opening the front of the neck. As you exhale, bend from the lumbar spine. Go back carefully and easily, as far back as you can. And let's breathe here. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Awareness on the whole body. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Inhale, lift the chest, come back up. Slowly. Good. And exhale, relax. Good. We'll take a forward bend. Pada Hastasana, the hands to the feet posture. So keeping the feet in parallel, two to three inches apart from each other. Inhale, take the arms up from the front all the way up. And exhale, bending only from the hip joint. Keep the legs straight. Start to reach forward. Stretch your fingertips forward till your body is like a table parallel to the ground. And now slowly lower the fingertips down. Either bring the hands to the shins or fingertips to the ground or the palms on the ground if you can. Drop your head towards your knees. Let's take a few deep breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. Keep the legs straight. Breathe in. As you breathe out, head towards the knees. Breathe in. 
Breathe out, go a little further. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Inhale, slide the fingertips forward. Stretch the arms forward. Let the back come up with the arms. Breathe in slowly, come all the way up. Smile. Good. And relax. Excellent. And we'll go to the floor. You can just stretch the legs out in front of you. Put your hands behind your back in a relaxed posture. Let the head go back a little. Vishramasan. This is our relaxation pose. And now let's bring the feet together, toes pointing up to the sky, hands beside the hips, spine tall. Tadasan. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Good, exhale, press the hips into the ground. And now we'll do Badrasan, the firm posture. So be careful in this posture in case of sciatica or arthritis. Let's inhale, bring the feet together, soles of the feet together. Exhale, wrap your hands around your feet. Good, inhale, sit tall. And exhale, pull the heels as close as you can to the perineum. Relax. If you like, you can even close your eyes here. Breathe in. Exhale, let the knees drop towards the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe into the whole body. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Gently stretch the legs back out. Put the hands behind your back. Recline back just a little. Again, Vishramasan. Let the head fall back a little. Good. And again, tad, we'll come into Dandasan. The toes pointing up. Hands beside the hips. Press down into the ground a little. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in. Exhale, we'll come into Vajrasana, the diamond pose. Be careful of this pose in case of ankle or knee injuries. Let's inhale, bring the right heel towards the right buttocks. Exhale, inhale, left heel, heel towards the left buttocks. Place the buttocks in the space between the toes and the heels. Hands on the knees. And you can gaze softly downwards or close the eyes. Let's take a few deep breaths with the awareness on the whole body. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in and breathe out. And when you feel ready, you can open the eyes. Good. We'll take a back bend. We'll take the half camel posture, Ardha Ustrasana. Let's inhale, come up onto our knees. Ooh, that's a relief, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and let's bring our hands onto our lower back. Be careful in this pose in case of vertigo or any spinal injuries. So let's inhale here. Bring the elbows towards each other behind the back. Let the head fall back and exhale, bend backwards from the upper back, arching backwards, chest to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Let the head fall back easily. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. One more time. Breathe in and out. Inhale, come back up slowly with awareness on the whole body. Good, exhale, gently relax. Good, now we'll bend forward. So we'll take Shashakasana, the hair posture. So be careful in case of osteoarthritis of the knees, you can come out of this posture. Yeah? Inhale, open the knees. Exhale, let's put the hands between the legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, slide forward gently and slowly, all the way, keeping the arms in parallel with each other. Bring the chin to the ground if you can. 
and relax the whole body. If the chin doesn't want to touch the ground, bring the forehead to the ground and relax. Breathe into your hips, breathe in, breathe out. Deep breath in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more gentle breath in and out. Good, inhale, come back up slowly with awareness on the whole body, breathe in. Exhale, close the knees. Good. And we'll take the stretched up frog posture, Uttana Madhukasan. So inhale, let's take the knees to the side. Again, if this is bothering your knees, you can sit in a different position for this. Yeah. Inhale, take the arms up from the front. Stretch the spine. Smile. And exhale, bend from the elbows only. The palms onto alternate shoulder blades. Right palm on the left shoulder blade. Left palm on the right shoulder blade. See if you can keep the chin parallel to the earth. And let's take a few deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe into the chest. Notice the chest is opening. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can smile. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Inhale. Raise the arms up. Good. Exhale. Relax. And you can close the knees. And the moment you've been waiting for, let's slide down onto our mat on our stomach. Come all the way down. Make a pillow with the hands. Turn your head to the right side. Take your feet two feet apart or so. Let them splay out to the side. Turn the head. Put it onto the Hands, makarasa and crocodile pose. You're like a crocodile resting in the sun. Let the breath relax. Good. Now bring the legs together. Take the arms out in front of you. You can have them resting on the ground. We'll do Bhujangasan Cobra Pose. Be careful of this pose in case of hernia or any abdominal injuries. Inhale, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, elbows close to the body. Exhale here. And inhale, lift the head, chin, chest, upper chest until the navel. And breathe here, deep breath in. Breathe out, relax the shoulders, push them down and back. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath in, come a little higher and exhale, slowly lower down. Again, make the pillow with the hands. Turn the head this time to the left side, legs apart. Makarasan on the other side, crocodile pose. Resting in the sun. Let the breath relax. Now gently, let's turn onto our backs. Gently roll to the back. Relax, and we'll do Pavan Muktasan, the wind freeing posture. So inhale, bring the knees up. Exhale, bring the knees to the chest, towards the chest. Inhale, clasp the fingers together, place them on the shins, wrap the arms around the legs. Exhale, bring the forehead towards the knees until the chin or nose touches the knees. Breathe in and breathe out. Deep breaths, awareness on the whole body. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, breathe in and exhale. Release the head down, relax the legs, slide them down onto the ground. Let the legs be 
one to two feet apart. Let the toes fall out to the sides and the arms by your sides, palms facing up to the sky, relaxing the arms on the ground. Shavasana or corpse pose. Relax the whole body. Become aware of the natural flow of the breath. And let's take our attention to our toes and feet, ankles, legs, knees, thighs, and hips, our abdomen, stomach, chest, shoulders, right arm and hand, eyes are closed, left arm and hand, the neck and the throat, the head and face, eyes, the top of the head, the whole body, the whole body. Slowly and gradually, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Let's turn and rest on our right side for a moment, resting on the right side. Slowly and gently, come all the way back up to a comfortable, easy seated position. You can sit cross-legged if you like, or in lotus or half lotus. Sit with the spine tall. And we'll practice some breathing techniques or pranayama. So with the spine tall, let's bring our hands into Gyan Mudra. A mudra is a hand position that directs the flow of prana or energy in the body. So index finger and thumb are lightly touching and the backs of the hands resting on the lap. Good, we'll do Kapalabhati breathing. So in Kapalabhati breathing, we'll be forcefully contracting the abdomen and the, the air forcefully shoots out of the nose like this. In Kapalabhati breathing, after we contract the abdomen and the air comes out of the nose, the inhalation happens on its own. Okay, we'll take 20 repetitions of Kapalabhati breathing. So let's close the eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And we'll take 20 rounds of Kapalabhati. Let's begin. <laughs> Relax, let the eyes closed, relax the hands. 
Notice the energy or prana in the body, all over the body. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. Good. And we'll do Nadi Shodhana Pranayama, or alternate nostril breathing. So let's bring the left hand into Jnana Mudra. Index finger and thumb lightly touching, other three fingers extended. Rest the left hand on the knee, left knee. And the right hand, let's take it into Pranayama Mudra. So you'll bring the index and middle finger towards the palm and place the right thumb on the right nostril. Close the nostril. And exhale out of the left nostril, close the eyes. Good. Inhale through the left nostril. Close it with the ring finger. And exhale out of the right nostril. Good. Inhale through the right. Close the nostril with the thumb. Exhale out of the left. Inhale through the left. Close with the ring finger. Exhale out of the right. Inhale through the right. Close with the thumb. Exhale out of the left. Inhale through the left nostril. Close with the ring finger. Exhale out of the right. One more. Inhale through the right. Close with the thumb. Exhale out of the left. With the eyes closed, relax the right hand in the lap. If you like, you can bring it into Gyan Mudra. Relax the hands. And notice the balance in the body and the balance between the right and le left hemisphere of the brain. And when you feel ready, you can gently and slowly open your eyes. We'll do one more pranayama, Brahmari pranayama. So let's bring Again, the hands into Gyan Mudra, index finger and thumb lightly touching. In Brahmari Pranayama, we'll be making the sound of a bee, a humming sound, like this. We'll do this with a special mudra called Shanmukhi Mudra. We'll be closing off all of the senses. Yeah? So let's bring the hands towards the face. Shanmukhi Mudra, we close the eyes, gently touch the index fingers onto the eyelids, and then the middle fingers onto both sides of the nose without closing the nostrils. The ring finger above the lips, right below the nose, and place the pinky finger right beneath the lips. And we'll be, in a moment, closing the ear flaps with the thumbs. And we're going to be taking deep breaths in and breathing out with the humming sound three times. So let's go ahead and close the ear flaps with the thumbs. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out with the humming sound. Deep breath in. Again, with the humming sound. Mm. One more time, deep breath in. Breathe out. Mm. With the eyes closed, Relax the hands in the lap. We'll be practicing dhyan or meditation. You can keep your eyes closed and bring the hands into dhyan mudra, which is into the center of the lap. Bring the right hand into the center of the lap, palms facing up, and the 
left hand, sorry, the left hand into the center of the lap and bring the right hand on top of it. Both palms facing up. The palms are stacked. And with the eyes closed, let's take a deep breath in and breathe out. Relax the shoulders. Take a long, deep breath in. As you breathe out, feel the weight of the body dropped onto the ground where you're sitting. Become aware of the whole body. And become aware of all the sounds around you. Any sounds that you hear, notice them and let the sounds be there as they are. You are in harmony with the environment as it is. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Become aware of any thoughts that are floating through the mind. Do not resist any thoughts. Let them come. Now you are in harmony with the thoughts, with the mind. And become aware of any feelings, pleasant or unpleasant. Accept the feelings as they are. You are peace. You are joy. Breathe in and let go. Again, become aware of your feelings. Become aware of your thoughts. Become aware of your whole body. And let's immerse ourselves in the sounds. Sarve bhavan tu sukhi na Sarve santu nira Take a deep breath in and breathe out. A long, deep breath in and breathe out. 
become aware of your whole body and where you're seated on the earth. Breathe in and breathe out and slowly and gently when you feel ready, you can gradually open your eyes. Good. Namaste. Om Shanti Shanti Om, everyone. What an uplifting and revitalizing yoga session we've had. And the sun even started to come out even more, shining its rays upon us so gloriously. We are here in this beautiful North Lawn of the United Nations headquarters in New York City, celebrating World Yoga Day 2023. A sincere thank you, Annalise Richmond, and to all our young yoga practitioners who've helped to demonstrate during this yoga session. We have an unforgettable event with them and for the youngsters in the first row leading us as well this morning. One more round of thanks to them as they exit the stage and take their leave. Namaste. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Our deepest gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji, for gracing us with his presence and in creating this wonderful memory at the iconic United Nations headquarters that we cherish from years to come. Friends, I am going to ask if you can please stay in your seats. Please remain seated while the Honorable Prime Minister of India meets and greets participants. The Honorable Prime Minister will meet and greet participants. May I ask for your cooperation and your understanding. Friends, may I ask that you remain seated at your yoga mats, please, as the dignitaries and His Excellency Prime Minister Modi ji meets and greets and mingles with